this address is available in your description you can go there and go to ui basic structure copy this we will paste the code here the modal dialog box won't allow anything uh, to interact the background page unless this box is closed anyway this dialog box are used to communicate to the user or take the input also from the user we will see that first let us display the uh, dialog box id is equal to let's give it as uh, my dialog you can give your own name this is the id we are giving title let us say write plus to net dialog fine let us close this inside we first let us close the div tag this is the dialog box what you are inside the our html part of the code we are writing we are not writing any jquery here plus to net dot com let us this is the message uh, we are giving inside our uh, html parts so you can see here it is we have written uh, fine now let us come to jquery part jquery part is here inside this we will write our uh, ok let us comment this part also we will write our uh, function so on load it will be executed let us write this and first we will close this otherwise we may miss that now let us open the uh, this is the id what we have used my dialog my dialog right this this is you just see this is uh, what we have also used here so this this will be used as a dialog box the content here let us see how this works you can let us refresh this you can see the dialog box is opened here this is the title part whatever we have written you can see here here is the our title and the body whatever we have written here is displayed in the uh, body of the dialog box we'll display the dialog box after a time delay so for this we will write the code what you will do first we will hide the dialog on load the dialog box will not be displayed so what you will do we will uh, this dialog box id we have used we will use css function now the display property will set it to none so now this will be this will not be displayed now to display this we will display it after some time delay now you will remove this and write set timeout now function <coughs> function my dialog now this is ok dialog will close this here we will close this comma 400 4000 is in millisecond so we will use the millisecond here 4000 millisecond it's 4 second we will use now this should work for us and the <coughs> display will not be immediate the dialog box will be displayed after say some time delay so this is let us run this you can see the fine now we will try to open the dialog box on click of a button so let us remove all other codes this will remove css part now let us remove this also simple this is a dialog box fine this is our basic dialog box here inside what we will do we will make it uh, to open as false now this will prevent the dialog box from opening if you want you can check this also let us see now there will not be any dialog box it won't open fine so now what you will do we will create a button now below this or above this let us see this is a button id is equal to b1 now let us say 
open fine so this is the our button we have added one button here now let us connect it to a click event of the button or we can write it below that let us do that give some separator between them okay now we'll start the our b1 this is the id whatever we are given click function this is the click function of it now let us close this first okay inside this we will write inside this we will write the open dialog box so whenever the button is clicked this part of the code will uh, operate my dialog so this is the idea of our dialog box now we are declaring now simple we will click open that's all my dialog so when the function is the uh, button is clicked this will be executed because this is this is inside the click function of the our dialog box uh, sorry click function of the button when it is clicked we'll see the dialog box is okay come here refresh this button is available now let us click this yeah you can see the dialog box is opened we'll add one close button to this so the user can click and close the dialog box now let us here we will add this we will give uh, button let us we will first close this now inside this button we will put again close now the function function will write below that again we will close this inside this here we will write the our close command mm, this dialog now this should add the close button to our dialog box let's see we'll save this refresh this open the box fine you have got a close button now by using this i can close that let's open it again and anyone I can I can use this one also I will use this and close it we will keep a form inside our dialog box so the user can enter data and that data will display it in our parent window so let us come here inside the P we will keep a form form ID is equal to F1 so this form whatever data is entered inside will collect those let us delete this not required okay now here let us say first name first name input type is equal to text name is equal to t1 mm, then id is equal to let's say t1 close it now let's give a line break give second name input type is equal to text name is equal to t1 sorry this should be our t2 text 2 now id is equal to t2 let's close this so form is closed first name and second name now whatever first name and second name we collect from here we will display it in the parent window so what we will do we will create one div id is equal to message or msg will put now let us close this div tag inside this will display the whatever user entered in the dialog box the our dialog box starts from here and ends here the top part means from here to here is this is portion is in our parent window so parent window we have one uh, message here div tag inside this will display it here is our message okay now let us come back to our jquery section in our jquery section we have a already we have programmed a close button now let us add a submit button now submit now this function let us close it first okay now simple we want to bind uh, connect our that uh, div tag message tag so we'll connect it message close it 
Message then HTML. Now here we will collect the whatever the dialog box input. So whatever the input, those will be available in our F1. F1 is the form. Form then serialize. Serialize is is the function which collects all the data for us. Whatever is collected within the form in name, a key and value pairs. So name value pairs it will collect and it will collect and store it and pass it to our this message. We will do one more thing. Once the submit button is uh, clicked, we do not want the dialog box to remain open the, because the data is transferred. So what we will do, we will put at this dialog now close. So this, this line will close the dialog box. Now here we are collecting it, pushing it into our div tag and the next line we are closing it. So this is the line which is important which picks up the user entered data and pass it to, to our message div or div message. Okay, Let us save it. Let us see how this works. Fine. Open. Okay, Our dialog it has come. Now my first name my second name let me submit this yeah you can see t1 is my first name ampersand this is a value t2 is my second name whatever is there in space are replaced with percent s20 okay so this is how we can pass the data from the dialog box to our parent window we will add little animation to our dialog box. So while sewing and hiding uh, or closing down, we will see some animation. So to keep it little simple, let us remove this part. Now we will button, okay, let us remove this. Here we will go, here we will write sew. Our uh, means while displaying, what will happen? Now let us see this. Okay, so now effect. Now let us say fade. So while displaying, it will slow. It will fade. Now duration. Duration. Let us say two thousand. So this is two thousand milliseconds. So it is two seconds. Now let us. This is all about so. Now let us see height. Height means while we are closing the dialog box. Let us put a comma here, fine. Now let us give the effect, what effect will give? Let us size. So size means it will sink its size or reduce its size slowly. Size, duration, let us do it fast. So 200 million means uh, this is 200 milliseconds. Okay, fine. Now this should work. We have a button also. Okay. Let us see how the our dialog box opens and closes. I refresh it. Now let me open it. Slowly it has opened. Now let me close it. Okay. This timing we can change it. This we will make it little fast. This let us make it bit slow. Closing little bit slow. Let's save this. Refresh. Now let us. So it has opened it fast, and now close it a little bit slow.